Hey guys, welcome to the Let's Talk Digital show with Official Gorang. First of all, a very happy New Year 2022 all of you. Considering that it's the first week of January and many of you must be nearing or close to nearing the end of your proposed digital strategy tech, either from an agency or an in-house team. What's your digital way forward? As a small business, there's always this issue of whether you should hire an agency or a freelancer or instead build an in-house team. Well, there are various aspects which go along with choosing one or more of the options and it's very time consuming. There's a lot of issue with the clarity of communications, the creative output and the most important factor, which is cost. So instead of me dumping information on you, which you can easily find through an hour's research on the Internet, I would rather share my own experience with all of you, which will in turn add value to your current working pattern or system. I have been working as a freelancer for quite some years and my last job was as a brand strategist in a digital agency. I've recently joined my family business and instead of collaborating with an agency, I've decided to develop and build my own in-house team to handle all the digital marketing requirements. Now, you would question that, isn't it very costly or time consuming like I just mentioned? Well, the major reason behind this decision is that whenever you build a team of your own, you have the luxury to have the capability of molding the team according to the organization's requirement and work culture. Since it will be an in-house team, the whole team's focus will be around that organization and meeting its every creative and SEO need and requirements. Unlike an agency which has a smaller team but lots of projects to go on with. Sure, it's a costly affair or so you think the following are few steps which i have taken i have tested and i've seen people doing that which will allow you to minimize costs and eventually scale up first you could hire a full-time employee who has the core knowledge in digital marketing and is capable of himself handling or at least supervise someone who is a designer or the developer you hire later on working under them Second, invest your time in finding either college freshers who are devoted to their learning or a group of highly motivated freelancers who value their work more than anything else and recruit them on a project basis only. Third, once you have selected and hired any of the above, your senior employee can start working on a digital deck for the month. Fourth, you can start working with your team on a monthly basis with no long term association or commitment, which in turn helps you with cost control. Finally, you can start expanding slowly as soon as you start getting results from your monthly investments. The benefits of doing this is that your monthly costs are considerably low even when you compare it to a digital agency. Thus, even with a considerably low cost, you have an option of utilizing your resources to the max and actually reaping the benefits out of it. You are not going to incur any other costs apart from the fixed monthly or project basis cost which you set during your initial meeting with your full time employee, either college freshers or the freelancers. Okay, so basically this is a way of establishing an in-house team. You can opt to do something differently. I would love to know if you have done something like this before or if you're planning to do something like this. Also, if you think uh, a step should be added or a step should be corrected, please feel free to inform me or and we can have a discussion on it. Also, since you all stayed till the end of the podcast, here is a bonus step for all you listeners. Once you have a team big enough or you see a scope of taking up projects from third party companies, then open up your in-house digital team to the public and start taking new work. This way you can start operating as a standalone digital agency as well. And it becomes a second source of income. Thank you for listening, you guys. And if you have any questions or you want to talk about something, feel free to contact me in any of the following social media platforms. For Instagram, it's at official Gorang. For Twitter, it's at askgorangyt. You can also email me at gorang at creason.in. It's C-R-E-A-Z-I-O-N dot in. Gorang at Krasen dot in. Stay tuned for the next episode of Let's Talk Digital with Official Gorang. Thank you guys. See you the next time.